August and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be spending a typical morning together. Today I woke up at 7 a.m. bright and early. Good morning! Welcome back to my channel. My name is Fernanda. It's currently 7.18. I woke up 18 minutes ago. foggy day for some reason it's like really cloudy it's not really giving summer it's giving kind of fall i don't know why the fall vibes right now are very heavy it might just be because i made some tea and i lit a candle but i just wanted to get the vibe right for today because today's gonna be a fairly busy day i haven't really done a proper morning routine since moving in and i know how much you guys like to watch these videos and i like to film them as well one thing i will say is that i've been kind of out of a routine for the past month since i've been traveling to montreal music festivals mexico Mexico and my friends cabins so now August is really grind time I have so much to do this month I think my ultimate morning routine starts at probably like 7 or 6 30 a.m. The past few days I've been really tired to wake up at that time also by the way if you guys sorry I did not mean to be like so visibly showing this but if you guys see this red splotch on my arm and my leg It is because I got stung by a freaking jellyfish a jellyfish. I was in Mexico last week and a jellyfish attacked me. It's really nothing to be concerned about, but it's just really red. Oh, I didn't even get my ice roller. I was gonna say, the first few things that I do when I wake up is I drink some tea, I drink some water, I take my vitamins, and I ice roll my face. Today we are having lemon ginger green tea. This is super good first thing in the morning. I think it helps with digestion and kind of deep bloating. And it's just kind of like a subtle way to start your morning. It's not like aggressive, like coffee, or like even making a matcha seems like too much effort in the morning, whereas tea is just so easy. And then and of course water which hydrated out here I kind of did a little bit of a cleanup around just because I had some clothes everywhere I still haven't washed my face yet that's something that I normally do first thing and my hair is still in braids from last night but yeah something that helped me wake up early this morning was I worked out late last night which I don't know if it was a good thing or a bad thing because I feel like my mind was super frazzled while I was sleeping I was just like still mentally on the go but I worked out last night and I took a shower and I had melatonin and I had some sleepy time tea and I just kind of winded down earlier than usual and that helped me I feel like wake up earlier today I'm gonna sit here and go through stuff on my phone for a bit just because normally when I wake up I have a lot of texts and emails that I haven't answered yet and like maybe I have to post on Instagram or post on reels and even though that sounds so easy and like stupid it's still kind of tedious and you know gotta make sure we're consistent on all the apps so that's what I'm gonna do I'm also gonna grab my ice roller and ice my face at the same time I've talked about ice rollers so many times, but mine is just from Amazon and ooh, it is so cold. Oh my God. This ice roller I have brought with me on trips. I always keep it in my fridge so I can use it in the morning. I honestly really think that they do help. I feel like my face when I wake up is really puffy and in the winter, my eyes were so swollen with like eczema and I'd wake up so puffy and this was low key my saving grace. It also feels really good and kind of mentally wakes you up. So I love using this. Honestly, there's no amount of time and there's no specific way to do it. I just kind of do it all over my face. While we're here, you guys, we are almost at 1 million. I am so excited. If you haven't subscribed yet, make sure that you do. And if you are subscribed, comment down below what is one ritual in your morning routine that you do non-negotiable, non-negotiably. I don't know how to say it. Like, you know, you do it every single day. I want to implement more steps into my morning routine. But anyways, today's going to be a fire day.
currently 8 a.m. I think that I'm gonna meditate outside on my balcony just because yesterday I was feeling super super anxious with all the things that I had to do and I normally never feel anxious but I even felt like a tightness in my jaw and that is not a good sign and I'm not trying to you know make it a habit and I feel like right now I'm like oh well I'm not stressed anymore I might be later and if I meditate now then maybe I'm preventing my future self from feeling anxious and it's kind of like wiping out the anxiousness that was yesterday I don't know if that makes sense it's kind of chilly low-key I might put like a hoodie on get my yoga mat out here and just like my headphones I don't know if that's the vibe but it's calling my name right now the world feels kind of peaceful right now to schedule to come this morning because I don't know why so I'm gonna go pick up my order from downstairs I think I bought some groceries that we can actually make breakfast with later I got some celery so we can make some juice chicken because this is really easy to make things with it's just oven roasted chicken raspberries a cucumber some bananas an apple this looks so sad now 8 45 and it's time to jump into work yesterday i went to a cafe and i was a to-do list freak i have so many different to-do lists so i'm going to make a to-do list go through my planner and then come up with a plan for what's going to happen today and like how i'm going to do everything because i honestly have so much to do and i've been having a difficult time time managing it all because i think that things don't take as long or i'll leave appointments to the last minute i also have so much furniture to still order so that i can finish up this moving series i know a lot of you guys are asking me about that i still have this office video to post and probably just another like general moving video where i do like my balcony i still have my room to do and of course the room tour and like all that kind of stuff so i just need to order furniture and i've been putting it off just because every time i press checkout it hurts my soul a little bit and i feel like i've already purchased so much but i guess that's what comes with moving into a new house for the first time there's just so much you need to buy that you didn't think about i'm also doing like a little magazine interview thing and there's two of them so i need to write up some responses for that and i think i'm doing a zoom with one of them tonight which is super exciting also i've talked about this in my past few videos but one mail is coming up so there's a lot of prep for that and one of my actually not one of my my biggest collaboration partnership projects is released in the next like three weeks so keep an eye out because i'm really 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 excited to share this with you guys i've been working on it for like a year now and because it's almost being released there's so much prep that's going into it and it feels weird almost that i have the last final say in a lot of things which like i feel like is a given i guess because it's for me but it just feels weird me being the one to say like oh do this do this do this because I'm just like what I am not used to this moral of the story is there's a lot of things that need to be happening today Normally I have my breakfast around like 12 p.m. And while I work I like to have some liquids with me So I have my water I have my tea and I have a whole bunch of colorful pens I feel like that really motivates me and I always play like jazz music in the background I feel like that's also motivating to me these little notepads that I bought are from Amazon. They're super basic They're literally called Amazon basics. I'm gonna show you guys my planner because I'm obsessed with it. Look how cute It's from Muji. I've been using using it for a while now and I really like that it's weekly and you can kind of make it hourly and this is my this week I've highlighted a bunch of things on it so It is 
11 15 and i'm getting very hungry so i am going to make myself some breakfast i'm going to make it super super simple just because i'm trying to get back on my health grind My breakfast is served. I'm sitting where I normally sit when I eat, um, which is in front of the TV. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but I haven't watched YouTube in so long, so I'm actually just gonna catch up on some YouTube videos. First of all, my juice, let's give it a first test. As you saw, I made a little bit more so I can have some for tomorrow. I also added lime juice this time, which I normally never do. I only ever add lemon juice. If it's hard for you to get in all your vegetables per day, I would highly recommend making a juice because it tastes really good. I would just recommend adding something fruity like an apple if you're having like a green juice because it makes it a lot sweeter. Also, I'm personally obsessed with ginger and like lemon and it just makes it taste so good. Juices are also super good for digestion, so I'm a fan. I'm trying to eat more protein now that I'm like working out more. That's why I made an aggressive three eggs. And I just have a little piece of rye bread here. My piece of bread was so dry. Okay, the last thing I'm gonna do before starting my day, because I do have plans later on tonight and in the middle of the day, is I'm gonna go work out. I do have a gym in my apartment building, so I am gonna use that one today. And I've been focusing a lot on like cardio and walking and getting more steps in, so that's probably what I'm gonna do, as well as some weights. At the gym, I did a 12 330, which is an incline of 12, a speed of 3, but normally I do like 3.3 for 30 minutes. And that was all I did. Honestly, you don't need to do that much. As long as you're getting movement in, I think that's the best thing that you can do. But, anyways, thank you for spending the morning with me. I hope you guys like this video. Make sure to subscribe, and I'll talk to you guys very shortly. Bye.